today. Well, an inclusive collegiate program is focusing on providing a college education to adults with special needs. We're joined by Deanna Per Se with the uh, College of Adaptive Arts to learn a little bit more. Deanna, you were also nominated as a 2022 CNN Hero for the work you do uh, with collegiate education for adults with special needs. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Now, you started this with Pamela Lindsay, co founder of the College of Adaptive Arts, based in Saratoga, uh, because some of your family members, um, I guess they aged out of traditional educational programs and you were looking for more. Correct. Yep. Dr. Pamela Lindsay and I co founded the college in 2009. At that time, we opened up, sorry, my dog is Zoom on it. <laughs> we, we opened up a. Um, a, co a college in San Jose. Uh, we rented space in a dance studio and we've grown over the time. Uh, we both do have loved ones. They were uh, really supported in the K-12 public school system. It was lovely. And then there's a real drastic um, transition that happens when they're exited out of the school system at age 22. And because of their disabilities, they weren't able to access higher education um, opportunities. All right, so the College of Adaptive Arts is a nonprofit and so how does it work for those that don't live in the area near the so, college? Sure. Yeah, we actually had distance learning even before the pandemic. The Adobe Foundation had given us the infrastructure. We called it Skype on Wheels at the time where we had the tech set up. And then when the pandemic happened, um, we took all 75 classes online. And so each class is just one hour long. Uh, we don't require adults to be able to read, write, Homework is optional, and they um, just sign up for the classes that they have an interest in, and a Zoom and hybrid will always be an option. What kind of classes are offered? Spanish, history, we're starting the chemistry class, um, reading, writing, dance, music. Um, in the beginning, arts was kind of, we were kind of positioning it as high arts, and okay. now we have 10 schools of study, and so we like to refer to the arts as a liberal arts education that you would get on any community college oh, campus. Oh, I see, I see. You sent some pictures to me last night, too, of uh, maybe some... Kids that There's went Victoria. The program. She was in the CNN article. Okay. Here's some of our beautiful students when the West Valley leaders came past. That's my sister Angel. Oh, wonderful. Who stays, yeah. Okay, so how many uh, students are enrolled usually? Yeah, this, so when we started, we had 12 in 2009. This summer quarter, uh, we are enrolling 162 students. Oh, wonderful. Um, and for the fall quarter, there's another 30 that are queued up. So we're about okay. to tip, tip 200 if they all show up, which they have been doing. And our goal is to see if we could take this model worldwide to be an expanded layer of college education on, on every college campus for adults who historically haven't had access. Yeah, that is fantastic. wonderful. I love that photo right there. This yeah. is great. And I can see, I just feel the energy from the photos, how, how yes. happy they are. So it's collegeofadaptivearts.org if you'd like more information. Deanna, thank you so mm -hmm. very, very much for sharing. You have a lovely Sunday. Thank you for the opportunity. You bet. Thank you so much.